Who am I? Uh, I play a character called Drexel, Spivit. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm a pimp. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And a, and a bad, uh, bad, 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 bad man. Pretend is that five cent four bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you, you. Quentin Tarantino, who is a really great, uh, he's, a, he's a real cool new kid on the block. I mean, uh, uh, the writer and director of Reservoir Dogs, which you know about, because it went to Cannes, I think, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just got an imagination and he can take characters and put a special kind of twist on them that is um, unique unique you know they're, they're they're people that we've seen before but he takes them and and it's you know it's not gangsters it's not the baddies against against the goodies it's not it's not it's not good fellas it's not mean streets it's not you know um it's a real uh, original take on maybe characters that we've seen before let's say uh in the movies and then he just does this uh, uh, like a, a, a 360 degree turn with them. And um, lots of blood, lots of blood, blood, blood. <laughs> you must have thought it was white boy day. <laughs> yeah? I met Tony uh, Scott, the director, and he said, um, I hadn't read the script. And he said, I got this really fantastic script. He tried to explain the story to me. And he said, look, uh, I'm, not very, uh, I'm not very good at this. He said, I, I don't know how to explain the story to you. I said, well, look, forget about that. Who's the character? And he said, well, he is a, he's a pimp. And he's a, a white guy who thinks he's black. And I said, OK, I'll do it. We have a sofa egg roll. We got everything here from a little eye Joe to damn if I know. I worked with a sound guy on the last movie I did who had hair just like this. And I thought, well, maybe dreadlocks, you know, like a white guy is like trying to dread his hair. Um, and uh, I had this lens and this scar and the teeth and that. I just kind of put it all together. You know, he could have rejected it and he said it's too much or lose the eye or the teeth are good. But um, anyway, uh, I think two yesterday, it was the first day, I think. Um, and he just looked at me and said, uh, yep, 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 great. He said, check the boots out. Look at these. Well, they're not my idea, but. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Big D, you saying you eat pussy? Yeah, motherfucker, I eat everything. I eat the pussy, I eat the butt, I eat every motherfucking thing. Yeah, right? If I ever did eat some pussy, I would never eat any pussy, right? But if I did eat some pussy, I sure as hell wouldn't tell no goddamn buddy about it. I'd be ashamed as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Nigga, you smoke enough sherm, your dumb ass will do a lot of motherfucking things. <laughs> well, I was working in uh, New York, and uh, we were filming in, um, I think it's, is it Williamsburg? Yeah, in in, in Queens or, or Brooklyn? Yeah, can't, I, I'm not sure. And um, we were at the, you know, the campers, the trailers were out on the street, and uh, there were these black guys hanging out. And I heard this voice, and I thought, yeah, that's, that's the guy. So I had a tape recorder, and um, I said to him, uh, yo, yo, come here. And I took him into my trailer, and I said, do you mind if I tape your voice? So I taped his voice, and then um, I just wear headphones, and I just listen to it, and, you know. And then I work in with these great guys, so, you know, you're, pick, you're hearing the rhythms, and, the, you know. I know I'm pretty. 